In the heart of Indiana, there's an old schoolhouse tucked away in the middle of a bunch of cornfields. We bought the 1914 Union Joint Grade School to turn it into a home for our family. We grew up in this town, and we always wanted to live in a quirky house with some history. We just never dreamed we'd get this quirky of a house. After 10 years of living in New York City, we're moving back. We want to honor the history of this school as we work to turn it into a house full of kids and dogs and friends and family. It hasn't been easy, but luckily we have a family who might be crazier than us to think that this is a good idea. Join us as we transform this old school into our schoolhouse homestead. So I'm back with another update on all the construction that's been happening here at the schoolhouse. The biggest construction update is we finally have some new windows. So these windows are by far the most expensive thing that we've ever bought. And this was the number one thing that I've been most excited to see installed. A new roof and a French drain, they're great, but the windows are going to make this space feel way different. Now, this footage is what it looks like to get 65 windows and seven doors delivered. A hat tip to my brother and sister for taking this footage for me while I was in Philadelphia. And while we're here, I am so deep in the hole of favors that I owe my parents, especially my dad, for project managing this whole schoolhouse project. I don't think that I'll ever be able to repay them or thank them properly, but we'll get to that later. So currently we have all new windows on the bottom and the top windows are just now starting to get updated and they are huge from the inside. So this is the east side of the school. They're currently just roughed in, but they will be finalized very soon. Here we have the front of the school. As you can see, there are four new upper windows and we've taken off well, Lance and Howard have taken off the metal that was on top of, of these windows. And then again, all of the new windows are new on the bottom. We've also done some masonry work up here. Um, we've secured the uh, stones with some steel so they won't be going anywhere and will last a lot longer. And the next phase is to fix uh, and redo the whole facade. Get new doors, new windows, and really excited to see what that'll look like. Over here, not a ton of progress on the upper parts of the windows. Besides, we've removed all of the, the brick for two new windows on the west side so that we can see the Indiana sunsets come in to the living room every day. Um, but we do have all new windows on the bottom and the upper ones will start soon. On the back here, we also have a lot of progress. Um, we actually, so we bricked up the windows that were beneath here as we were going to have some decks and we'll have our garage and roof deck over here and we didn't need the windows that were beneath it. But we also unbricked these sections uh, to have sliding doors, one to go on the garage and the other is off our bedroom and has a tiny little deck so that, you know, we, have more more sunlight in the bedroom uh the other progress to come these windows are actually 118 inches tall so those will be beasts to replace they were also beasts cost wise but really excited to see the back of the school start to come together and can't wait to have parties out here so let's go inside so I'll give a tour of the, the rest of the basement um, at the end here, but this is where I wanted to get started because we actually have a new set of stairs to go upstairs. So this room before, you know, was totally um, just full of like pipes and, you know, nothing really useful. There are a lot of spiders in here and we have changed it to be the entrance to our house. So we'll come in from this door, from the garage, come straight up and over here will be our pantry and our laundry room. And then this little room will be a powder room, but this will be kind of the grand entrance into our kitchen and really exciting. We've uh, restored a lot of the, the masonry that needed repairing here. Um, this actually, you could see daylight through before. Um, and then these sliding doors are roughed in and 
really excited to see this turn into our kitchen. So as you can see, if I come over here um, around the scaffolding, this will end up being where our stove and our free refrigerator and our kitchen island will be right here will be where we plan to have a big dining table that I hope I can convince my brother to make. But one of the exciting design choices that we've made is actually we are going, this was where one of the old chalkboards was in the school. And so what we're doing, this will end up being our backsplash and we're going to have these like matte black tiles to, uh, m as the backsplash to mimic and like honor that the chalkboard used to be there. So over here will be like a little bar, but this will be a very large kitchen, which is good because we all have big families and all of my siblings are here and everybody keeps having kids and the kitchens that our parents have right now are feeling pretty crowded when you have a bunch of kids running around and having fun. So through here, here is what the living room looks like. Uh, the big update is we've unbricked these sections that will become windows that look like this. Um, I was a little nervous about having the transoms above these windows. Um, I really wanted to have like the exact, you know, what it was historically, but these windows are 96 inches tall. And that is a really expensive window to get because it is custom. So Alex from, uh, who helped us with the windows, Alex Byers, it was incredible. And he had the idea to put these transoms above and it just, it cut a lot of costs, even though the windows are the most expensive thing I've ever bought in my entire life, including the school. But it made it so that we can afford the windows and I actually think they look pretty cool. Um, and I think the, the breakup of the window actually makes them feel a bit taller when you're standing right next to them. Through here, this is the the entrance with all of the doors. Um, this is where we just were. That's the laundry room and the powder room and the kitchen. And then through here, the other big updates. We kind of started this around Christmas, um, but we knocked out this wall. These stairs are now sealed up. So, you know, before this was going to be a really skinny and long office, and now it's actually like a usable space where um, it feels more more like an office. So there used to be steps that went all the way across here and we covered this up and, you know, eventually we'll have a desk here and we can look out on, on the backyard as we are, you know, working from home. So excited about this office room. And then we'll go through into our bedroom. So right here will just be like a, a broom closet, keep vacuums and, and storage and stuff. Um, but this, this old classroom is now our bedroom. And we've obviously already like framed some of this stuff out. We'll come into our bedroom, a little hallway, a lot of uh, awkward figuring out how to, to lay out these uh, rooms. And huge thanks to Shot Design and Danny Kazi, who are amazing and have helped us solve so many problems here. But, so this will be our bedroom area. Again, we have the mirror of the kitchen. We have another set of sliding doors. There'll be a little deck off of here. And I'm so excited because this was, this was the first upper windows that were finished. And it's just gonna be so, have so much light in these rooms. And I am, I'm pretty tickled <laughs> with all these choices. So this will be a closet and this will be our bathroom and shower over there. So normally, you know, there will be a wall here eventually, but we can, can walk through and go into the area that will be all the kids' rooms. So right now at the end of this hallway, this will end up being the kids' bathroom. Here's a bedroom. <laughs> Here's a bedroom and here's a bedroom and just excited to get these finished and get some kids moved in. Um, this actually used to be another set of stairs, which is why some of this hardwood is 
the hardwood floors are missing. But uh, I said in a previous video, we were able to save a lot more of the flooring than we thought and excited to patch all of this and get them refinished. So here, I give a better view of this hallway. This way. So this uh, this class this classroom will end up being all of our kids' rooms. So now I will take you down into the basement. Um, again, we are in the room that will be the pantry. Um, one of the questions that we've actually been getting a lot online um, is about um, leaving the exposed brick. So. We plan to keep as much exposed brick as we possibly can, um, but we are going to frame the exterior walls. These bricks are very large, they are very thick, they hold heat and they hold the cold. So uh, we just we decided that we really need to insulate the outer walls because otherwise we're not gonna be able to afford to heat and cool this crazy school because as you can see, the, the ceilings are about 13 feet tall. So that's the update on that. And then now we'll go down into the basement. So this is where I came up in the beginning. This will be the only entrance into the basement from the actual house. And here is the center of the school from the basement. Um, it's really dark in here, so it's hard to, to see. Um, but this little room was, uh, it held the engine. Eventually we are going to hopefully move this up and make it uh, into our little wine cellar to store all of the um, goods we'll need to have big parties for everybody. Uh, this room, we call it the dungeon room because the there was dungeon written on the door uh, when we bought it. But things are just getting cleaner. Um, obviously the new windows are in here in the basement. We've been cleaning a lot of the ductwork, cleaning out the, the ceilings. There was a lot of like the old um, like straw and things that they used for insulation back then. But we've done a ton of cleaning of these and actually really want to keep these exposed, maybe stain them and have this just be the ceiling that's in the basement. So we'll come back through here. This back room is on the east side. So six new windows. And these will end up being our little like HVAC um, utility rooms with electrical. Uh, we are saving all the old doors that we can, stripping them, refinishing them, um, bringing them back to, to life a bit. In here, the lights are off, but you can kind of see through. Um, so this was where the old stairs were to get into the school or to get into the basement from upstairs, but we've closed that off. This is now the office above here, and this will end up being a storage room, and we'll be putting like a little bathroom here. Hopefully we have tons of slumber parties with kids and stuff, and they will need a bathroom in, in the basement. <laughs> and then in here, this will be kind of our like... Uh, we're calling it like the dirtier workroom. Um, so this section over here will be the bathroom and a closet for an apartment that we eventually want to build in this basement. Um, but this room will be our little pottery room work workstation for things. So a lot cleaner. Uh, we've been pressure washing the walls. The brick is lovely. And really excited to to see this room evolve. And so this room is the last room in the basement. It will end up, you know, many years down the line, we want to build an apartment, many years and many permits down the line. Um, because the uh, room upstairs will be changing use from a classroom to having like heavy fridges and everything uh, on, the, on the floors, we secured, um, made the floors more secure by adding these beams here. But yeah. Lots of masonry work in here. These windows were, um, these were windows and we have since bricked them up uh, because this will be the garage on the other side of this wall. So that's the update on the inside. Do a quick little tour of the outside and that's it for this little episode. 
here's the backyard. Not much has changed back here. Uh, the big thing we're working on is actually getting uh, permits for septic, which is boring, but important update that we need. And but that's about it. We hope to move in soon-ish, at least in 2023. So until next time, thanks for watching.